The restructuring of the St. Lucia Marketing Board is being realized with significant strides made in attaining self-sustainability and profitability. This was highlighted in a recent opening ceremony of the temporary location of the board's retail outlet. This relocation to a central area of the Castries market allows for the reconstruction of the entity's primary location on Jabata Street. Accountant of the St. Lucia Marketing Board, Teresa Daisy, reflects on some of the organization's successes during the restructuring process. It must also be noted that in 2013, our dear minister, the Minister of Agriculture, and Honorable Isihel Joseph, began working on the restructuring of the St. Lucia Marketing Board. And during this time, the minister saw the need to construct a building in Otsa to house the St. Lucia Marketing Board's administrative accounts, wholesale purchasing department. More recently, a park house was also commissioned. All these were done in keeping with the idea of the St. Lucia Marketing Board functioning as a central clearinghouse for the marketing of agricultural produce. Parliamentary representative for Castries Central, Honorable Sarah Flood Bobre, applauded the progress made by the St. Lucia Marketing Board, noting that the entity is as important as it was when established in 1967. We live in a world where we have come to see how absolutely crucial it is for us to be self-sufficient, how absolutely important it is for us to be healthy. Uh, the one thing that the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us is the absolute importance of health and the fact that health starts with healthy eating and the issue of food security is so important for nations to be able to sustain themselves. So I just want to say as parliamentary representative how cognizant I am uh, I am of the role of the Signature Marketing Board. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture, Barrymore Felicia, speaking at the opening ceremony, says not only does the move to the temporary location facilitate construction of infrastructure to aid with growth, this will also lead to the realization of the vision of the company. We want a vision where farmers have greater market access and sales, where the company is the hub for sales and distribution, a vision where local produce is exported consistently and where there is sustainable profit. That is what we want for the marketing board. We want to implore the management and board to commence the rebranding of the marketing board. There was, there was a business plan produced specifically to move and drive the marketing board power, extract the elements and components that are relevant to the delivery of that growth and implement them. The Ministry of Agriculture says it will continue to work with the St. Lucia Marketing Board to reach its maximum potential. From the Government Information Service, Humedi Mark reporting.